Today I used Google Gemini Experimental 1114 as well as DeepSeek for the very first time. I've been away for a couple of weeks. I've had a bit of a cold and dealing with some family stuff. So I'm trying to ease myself back into testing AI models. And so I'm only going to share with you one prompt that I gave to each of them that I still think was very interesting because it's a prompt that I've done before and some of you may have seen it live. So if you guys remember from this stream, I asked all of these different LLMs to solve this kind of funny integral here, the integral of x squared plus 69, 420 over x to the fourth plus one from zero to infinity. And when I was testing all of these models, the only one that got it was OpenAI's O1 mini, not even preview could get this integral here. And so this integral, of course, was a variation on something I saw from this old UCI physics exam back in the 1980s. For those of you who don't know, I went to UCI for, for my PhD. And so anyways, it was a variation of this problem. And it was it was funny to me how none of the other state-of-the-art LLMs could actually get it. Let's send it, yo. Send, 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 uh, send, send. Ooh, Claude Sonic is ooh, it got it wrong. Claude Sonic got it wrong. And the answer is oh, it was so close, but it's wrong. Meta I just said like, nah, I'm out. It said nah, I'm not even gonna try and integrate this. It does have an indefinite expression. What are you talking about? What you talking about, bro? It has an indefinite expression. It's trying to cap right here. Meta capping. It's like, this doesn't have an elementary expression. Yeah, right. The integral does not have a simple close form solution through elementary methods. Also failing here. Musk, man. Musk and Zuck gotta fight it out, bro. Musk and Zuck, your LMs are trash, man. You heard it here first. But DeepSeek and Google Gemini 1114, I don't see surprised me. So I'm actually really curious to know if with DeepThink, can DeepSeek Get it so here we go let's try this and it's interesting how like it writes without proper like capitalization and stuff it's it kind of makes it more human in a way it's kind of like you're texting somebody who doesn't have time for all the correct punctuation and stuff but it's still like a genius is the best way that i could describe it right now and it's still going i think it was like 69 421 2 divide by root two pi, I think is the answer. It's still going though, it says here, but I'm not sure that it helps directly with the integral at hand. Another idea, perhaps express the denominator as that, which is the difference of squares. Oh, okay, it looks like it's getting kind of stuck here. I think the goal of this integral was originally to use contour integration, but I think you can do it without it. I think I think O1 mini proved you didn't have to use contour integration to get this. Oh, whoa, did it get it? Wait a minute, 69421, pi square root two over four. Wait a minute. Oh, is I think it's off by like a factor of two here. Pi two root two over four. So it's saying 69, 421 pi root two over four. So the real answer is 69, 421 pi divided by two root two. So this answer root two over four is, that's two squared on the bottom. So then it's like two to the three halves in the denominator, right? Because this root two would cancel the two squared. So you should get two to the three halves. That's not two to the three. Oh, wait a minute. That is two to the three halves. It got it right. Wow, I didn't do my math right, but wait. Yeah, no, that's the same answer. Divide by four is one over two root two. That's what I thought. So that is correct. It actually got it. Oh my gosh. It got 69421 pi 2 over root 2. Wow. Deep seek got it. Oh my goodness gracious. It got the right answer. Okay. So we know that deep seek can take down the funny integral. Uh, can Gemini take down the funny integral? Let's go and see. Okay. I'm going to set the temperature down to zero so we have less variance. And I'm just going to ask it to evaluate the same funny integral. So here we go, funny integral, can it get solved? Oh, what? <gasps> I think it got it as well. Wait a minute. I think it got the same answer. This is not really in a format that I can read that easily, but I think if I just put this in LaTeX here, let me just put that there. And, oh wow, that's ugly, but, it got the same answer as DeepSeek. Wow. They both took it down. 
amazing. So add those two onto the list because only OpenAI 01 Mini was the only one that could solve that integral. So I think that's going to be it for today. I'm easing myself back into doing these tests. I was away for a couple of weeks, was dealing with some family stuff and got a bit sick. So it's like I went away for two weeks and so many releases happened while I was away. And I was like thinking to myself, oh my gosh, it's going to be so much to get through when I come back. So just wanted to ease myself back into it. Um, DeepSeek and Gemini Experimental 1114 seem very promising based on that one example I did there, considering that none of the other LLMs besides O1 Mini could take down the integral. And I think it's also interesting how DeepSeek gives its answers. Like, I don't know, there's something about the way that it writes that just feels, I don't know, very uncanny. Like O1 Preview and O1 Mini are just so proper with their responses, but the way that DeepSeek types is just, I don't know how to describe it, it's just uncanny. Um, maybe a little bit unsettling. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do my best to get back to making more tests in the near future, but I hope this can hold you over till next time. So see you then.